Welcome back to Ad Infinitum, everybody. The last episode ended with us getting gassed in the basement. And we're back in no man's land. It is very loud. And our objective is to avoid the gas and probably the explosions. So we're going to try to get through this. Just not exactly sure where to go because the gas is all over the place. Oh. There's a dog tag. Is this another dog tag? Yes. Okay. I think there's an achievement for collecting all the dog tags, but I know that I've probably missed some, but... <coughs> no, how do I get through that? Do I just... I go down here, probably? Maybe? There's no way to go through right here. I thought maybe follow the white flag, but... Let's just go down through this. There we go. Alright. Jeez. <coughs> Rudolf Eigert. Okay. Oh. Don't want to get too close to that. Jeez. Looks like there's a dog tag on every body. And then some random ones laying around as well. So. What's this? So, I'm still quite confused on the story of this, uh, as a whole. Like our dad was the one who developed the tank eater stuff, and our grandfather was a good general, and I feel like was disappointed that our dad was disabled, but yeah. But as to what's actually going on, like I feel like we're trapped in like purgatory almost. Okay, so we can hide again. All right, so we can't get back that way. Okay, let's get through here. Okay, we got a paper here. Gas attack in French. My comrades are gone. When the Germans sent the gas over, they tore off their ma the tore their masks off their faces and screamed as it burned their lungs, like pigs in a slaughterhouse. They're all dead. Now it is as if they were never here. I kept my mask on, though I can barely breathe. God, please help me. All right. I feel like a lot of the stuff that we're learning about as far as the war goes, actually happened. Why is there a rooster right there? Wooden cock cockerel. Probably carved by a French soldier. Okay. Carl Junot. And we've got this here. To Yvonne. In French. My dearest Yvonne. I'm counting down the days until we see each other again. Things aren't too bad here. Don't believe the stories you hear. There's a lot of fuss about nothing. It will all be over soon. Play our song every day. I play our song every day. Be brave, darling. And I shall be too. For our little curly-haired treasure, give her a kiss from me. Love, your Oscar. Sad. That was Oscar's tag that we just picked up too, wasn't it? Okay, let's keep... What? What? is this? The dummy stares at you with a piercing gaze. Well, yeah. Is that the same dummy from the episode one that we did? Wait, what do I... Where do I go? There's nowhere else around here? It's so dark. Oh, we can 
This is cleared out for us now. Okay. Alright, here's another page. La ch Chanson de Crayonne. <laughs> In French. When our week's leave is over, we head back to the trenches, where we are so desperately needed. For without us, we would be defeated. But it's all over now. We've had it up to here. We don't want to march anymore. And with hearts downcast, eyes filled with tears, we say farewell to those we must leave here. No drums for us, not even a bugle. We head back out with our heads bowed low. Goodbye to life, goodbye to love. Goodbye to all the women. It's all over now. We've had it for good in this awful war. Out here in Creon, on the plateau, is where we'll be leaving our skins. For we've all been sentenced to die. We are their sacrifice. So it must be a song that they played. <coughs> or, not played, sang. Did not realize that there was razor wire up there, but okay. Still don't like the fact that there's dugouts here. That we can hide in from things that we haven't seen yet. At least in the trenches. Okay, so this, this way is a dead end. This might open up for us once we go down this way. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. Enter a dugout to hide from enemies. Yes, I know. But... I haven't seen any enemies. Now I feel like there's going to be one. Stomping and screaming in French. I hear the sound, stomping and screaming. Every night it gets worse. It's not just the enemy. It comes from below, deep inside the earth. H. Ouvard. Comes from below. Okay. Yeah, oh, this isn't good. I see something on top there that looks out of place, and I don't want to touch it, even though there's a hand on it. Oh, maybe it's just a body with a gas mask on. Gas mask, 1917. This gas mask has an extra strong filter that has been designed to withstand even the mask breaker agent used in German ordnance. Okay, so we're gonna have to wear this now. No. Okay, so do I have to go into the dog out there? <laughs> okay. All right, well, that's just great. Okay, is he gone? Maybe. Did we already read this? We did. So, I wonder if that's the stomping and screaming that it's talking about. I can't look at my stuff while I'm in there. That's so lame. So, gas mask. So, we've got that and objectives. Follow the beast's tracks. Okay. Well. So, does that mean that we don't have to worry about it? Okay, so press G to equip the mask. Oh, what's this? 
the tunnel. Our tunnel now runs almost as far as the German trenches. We heard strange noises while we were digging. Our captain thinks Le Bush, Le Bushes, are digging back towards us so they can flood our tunnels with gas. Because of this, we now dig only under cover of darkness and as quietly as possible, with our rifles always at the ready, of course. H. Nev. Nev. Nevau. Nev okay. Let's take that off. I assume this is where the beast went. It was like candles, or just just the fire from the beast. Let's look down here real quick. Nothing. Okay. The photo. Orvard. In French, my comrade little Orvard from Rain. Let's get more gets more I'm so bad at pronunciation. Gets more nervous by the day down here. He keeps speaking about the horses he thinks he can hear. In the daylight, it seems like nonsense. Figments of the imagination. But down here in this perpetual night, it seems more real than a dream of ever going home. Interesting. I believe it's what they were finding. Oh no, he died too. Sad. Sedge. Another paper here. They are coming. I had a dream last night. I know what the gigantic flaming creatures are. They are the fallen soldiers of old and their war horses. We have disturbed their peace. They are coming. Soon we must ride with them. Ooh, that's... That's, uh... That's dark. Okay. So we came from this way then? Yeah, there was a there was a load screen there that I cut out because they're annoying to me, so. Um so I think we came down from that way. Let's get back out here. I guess these the fire is the beast's tracks. So the beast is the fallen soldiers so the and their horses. Of our new company Führer was no coincidence. Him, of all people, our newly minted lieutenant. Father confessed as much when I was back in Berlin. He pulled some strings with Supreme Army Command. Okay, so that's uh, Johannes. That's our brother. Are we following our brother's footsteps, I guess. Okay. Look like there's a few ways for us to be able to go. Can I get in here? Doesn't really look like it. Oh, maybe from right there? Okay. Oh, there's one of those creatures. Looks fairly fresh. Another one of the creatures. Disgusting. What gruesome monstrosities will the enemy throw at you next? Dead, but you're alive. That's all that matters. <coughs> I get through that. I guess I'm still in it? I can't really tell. I can't see anything. Okay, it looks like we're clear. I think we went the right way. I don't think we made a circle, but I could be wrong. Large intersection. Okay, so that way's blocked off. Wait, have we been here before? This looks familiar. I think we have been. Command Bunker 61. Get me! Break the 
of nature! What the... Who's there? Is that you, soldier? Where the devil have you been? Well? Cat got your tongue? Oh, don't shoot me. You damn traitor! Oh, treacherous bastard! I should have known I couldn't trust you. So you gonna shoot me if I step out here? Was that not what you wanted to hear? You say you're not in league. Stop! Why <gasps> didn't you let I? I thought we had to get the stuff for that guy. Okay. This time we're gonna go down this way. I. I wish I could trust you. Truly, I do. But my mission comes first. I can't risk it for anything. Okay. Destroy the explosives depot. And then bring me proof I can trust you. Proof okay. that you're not in league with the enemy. That okay. I don't have to fight this accursed battle alone. Now go! Okay. So secure the depot and bring proof that we're not a traitor. We're not working with the enemy. Okay, you know, I'll do what you say, Mr. Man. I don't know how you can kill somebody that's already dead. At least I feel like we're already dead. Okay, let's take a look at that, the objective. Find the beast in the tra- what? No! No! I don't want to find the beast in the trenches. Unless I can shoot it with that. Wait, can I get through there? No. Lame. Oh, there's one right here. This cannon isn't loaded. Oh, okay, well. Scent of gunpowder burns your nostrils. Unfortunately, the shells, shells, shells are of no use to you. Okay, so it looks like we are going to have to find... Shells, maybe? Maybe, maybe. Cannons are not loaded. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Volatile. No smoking. Oh, so this is going to be... The entrance to the munitions depot is locked. Maybe you can find another way in. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured. Alright. So we're going to have to find another way in. Okay, we're going to have to drop down in there, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. A page here for us. As ordered, the great lieutenant of the mighty German Kaiser has started using the new poison gas compounds against the French. He truly believes that killing off some of the poor bastards in their own trenches will help us win the war. He was so pleased with himself. How can he not see that the whole world is against us? Would he rather wipe them all out than admit defeat? Uh, I think he would. I think he would. Okay. I assume this is going to turn off the gas to allow us through there. Yeah. Cool. We do have the gas mask, but... I feel like it's almost gone. <laughs> like... Oh, no, it's fine. I guess we can only keep it on for a certain amount of time. Before it gets all fogged up and stuff. It looked like it was... Like... Breaking, almost. Hello? Soldier! It's me. I managed to get communications up and running again. You're really going to do it, eh? Perhaps I misjudged you. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna You're not do alone it. there. I saw a terrible creature running past the bunker. It could be close to you right now. The creature seems to hate gas. Shut off the gas. 
gas pipes. Try to lure the creature into the ammunition depot. Okay. So, to lure it into the ammunition depot, telephone, and so this is the ammunition depot, no smoking, so we're going to have to lure it probably down through here, so we're going to have to turn off the gas to get it through I guess, so we could probably hide in there. All right. At least we know that whenever we're in the gas, we're safe. It's locked from the other side. So that's good. It can't get us while we're in the gas at least, but it won't come through the gas. Gave me a big heckin' fright. I was not expecting it to pop out right there. I can't tell where it's at. Like how close it is. Okay. So I'm wondering if I can sneak past it. Like, the, the footstep sounds like it's over there, but its noises are coming from over there. I'm just gonna run. What's this? Waltzman Way. Okay, cool. We can come back here. We're safe back here. Kind of. What's up, buddy? Oh, it walks. It just said I was safe in the gas. It said I was safe in the gas. <laughs> it lied to me. I'm not happy about that. I'm gonna hang out in here for a second. What's this? Another gas mask? Useless. The filter is clogged up with some kind of chemical. It smells awful. Okay. Orders. Gas. Radio operator on duty. Un Unter Officer Johannes von Schmidt. Date. August 11th, 1917. Attention. Strictly confidential order for the duty officer. <laughs> duty officer. In order to expedite our success, the use of green cross shells pulmonary agent against enemy troops is to be increased again in the coming weeks. The green cross shells are to be used together with the new improved blue cross shells. The Blue Cross Shells component ask, acts as a mask breaker. It can penetrate simple mask filters and make it difficult for the enemy to breathe, thus forcing them to remove their masks. The pulmonary agent will do the rest. Signed, Supreme Army Command. So they did that to, like... Oh, that's just... Sent something over to force them to remove their masks, so either way they were going to die. There's just no winning in that situation. So green and blue. So... I'm gonna wait here and make sure this guy doesn't come down this way. Okay, I think he's pretty far away now. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna come down this way. So we need to find the the gas valve, right? Or 
or just a way into the munitions thing. One of the two. Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay. Oh, this took us back around to that gate that we couldn't get into earlier. Okay. All right. So this should just the gas should dissipate. So then we need to. Okay. Yeah. Search the destroyed ammunition depot. Okay. Rude. Let me turn. Jeez. Jeez. Um. <laughs> I mean, he's made of fire. What else? I didn't. What else did I expect was going to happen? He ran right into it. He's got fire coming out of him. Of course it's going to explode. Bring the officer proof of your loyalty. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, where's proof of my loyalty? Do I have to bring this thing's head back? There's a limb. Oh, I do have to bring his head back. Creature's head. The trophy fills you with pride. As if you had taken the creature's power and made it your own. Okay. So can I get out this way? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. We're here. Please don't shoot. Oh, you are. I felt the shockwaves all the way back here. What happened? Did you clear the gun positions? Prove it to me. What do you, what do you want? My God. I did it. I did it for you, boo boo. Can I please come in? Hey, word. Where'd you go, buddy? Where'd you go, poppy? Huh? Large intersection. Oh, there you are. I had to be sure. I hope you can understand that. <sighs> Not a bad shot for a blind man, eh? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I tried. <laughs> my eyes, they still hurt. But I can see much clearer now. Much. Uh, much. Clearer. I know you killed the abomination that did this to me, too. I should never have doubted you, soldier. Uh, even though you never brought me my medicine. But... Uh, I can take care of myself. The enemy is spreading through the country like a plague. They have penetrated our ranks and even uh, the fatherland itself. I need to hold our position here. The uh, uh, the rest is up to you now. Follow the railway tunnel in the east. It will take you to a munitions factory. They've cut off the supply lines for our war materials. Something is interfering with production. <coughs> there are rumors of a saboteur. <coughs> An enemy in our own ranks. Take this. It will be dark soon. If you can get the machines up and running again, we'll have all the explosives we need to win the war. <laughs> Just like you did before. I'm counting on you. You are our only hope of getting out of here alive. We've already been pinned down here for too long. <sighs> okay. But you mentioned that I'd never brought the, the medicine back to you, but you didn't even give me a chance to give you any medicine if I did have it. You tried to shoot me, you blind ass. Okay, let's go. What is this? Dynamo flashlight. 
No batteries required. The flashlight is designed to be worn around the neck. Pull the cord and release it to illuminate your surroundings. Once the automatic mechanism has pulled the cord all the way back in, the light will go out again. Repeat as necessary. Caution. Overuse of the cord may result in flashlight failure. Okay. Well, that's great. Key to the east bunker door. You can use this key to access the trenches east of the bunker. Okay. So how do I use the flashlight, though? Like, please explain. Uh, I guess it'll tell me. It's got to tell me. Okay. Uh, kitchen. Duties for the next... Okay, duty roster. <laughs> So if that's north, that's south. Oh, east probably through here, right? We've already we've thought we've come through here before, Once, right? Father who got him posted out here. But I barely recognize this loitenant of ours. It has been years since he last spoke to me. And that includes the several weeks since his arrival here. <laughs> First, I was shunned for being the black sheep of the family. Then for having the nerve to go off to war before he could. And now, he looks down on me. Me and everyone else. Wait, what? So we're the... So the... What? So is it the brother... That is the lieutenant with the same last name. It could have been a coincidence of just somebody random. East, there we go. So, but is that us? I think it is. Okay, so what did we need to do again? Objectives, find the railway bridge to the east, okay. Charge a flashlight, hold right mouse, release after charging the flashlight. Okay. A dark path. Man, this does not last long at all, does it? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that ought to be fun. Okay. No. Not Horst. Not Horst. Never met the man, but not him. Okay, I'm not gonna... It said overusing it could, like, break it, maybe? So, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna suffer until we need it. Autumn okay. is upon us again. Three years this war has been raging on. I paid a visit to the attic while I was back home on leave. But the memories of Christian were too painful. Even my pigeons were gone. Mother said they flew off, but I think she was lying. Perhaps because father was with us. He probably let them starve to death in their cages. He has set up a laboratory in the basement. Mother does not seem to know what he gets up to down there. They hardly say a word to each other anymore. Hmm. So he's been out, well, it says three years this war has been raging on, but it doesn't specifically say that he's been out there for three years. So, I think we're going to have to get back into that at some point. Oh, cool. Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me, sir. Okay. Writing room, a space for the soldiers to write letters home. Well, that's good. How they gave him that? Postcard from Casper. Dear parents, Ursula has broken off our engagement. Please do not be surprised if you do not hear from her anymore. When the war is over, it will be time for a new new beginnings. Perhaps Ursula will then rekindle her hope and turn her thoughts to us once more. I'm keeping my chin up and think of you every day while I'm out here doing my duty for the fatherland yours Casper so his girlfriend slash fiance left him 
I have a feeling we're going to find his dog tag soon. Which means that he's dead. At least I think that's what it means. Mil military mo ma ma mailbox. Field post regulations. Soldier, follow the reg regulations. The following contents are forbidden in military mail. Unusual forms of writing, any type of code. Illegible writing. Details of your position. Details or indications of your company's plans or tactics. Spot checks will be conducted. Failure to comply will result in strict punishment. That makes sense. But also, why would you be sending out your coordinates to somebody? Because he's going to get you killed. Censored postcard. Delivery rejected. I hear we're going to be heading south together with our neighboring companies. Perhaps the change of scenery will help. Can't get rid of these damn lice. I hope you're not. You've not been hit too hard by the famine. I miss you so much with love. Martin Pecora. That would make sense. Told you not to give away your position. You didn't really give it away, but you told them where you were going to be moving, so... So... Oh, here's another letter. No train. Gefreiter and Enox, as I have already explained several times, you cannot possibly have heard a train. Please cease reporting these figments of your imagination. Unter Officer Hobler. So I feel like the next monster is going to sound like a train. Do not walk on the tracks. Wait. There's a train track here. Never mind. Duh. Uh, okay. What's this? Follow the train tracks. Okay. Seems easy enough, right? You don't like the look of this. You just hope you can get over the bridge before a train comes. Why would a train be, train be coming, though? Okay. So we're still going down the train tracks here. There was another uh, load screen. Wait, what is what is going on? What is this place? That's not going to help us at all. <laughs> it's massive, whatever it is. It's like a castle. A massive building. What? What the heck is this? Took into the mouth of a beast. Really don't want to do this. Okay. Like some kind of factory? Is that you, soldier? Good. You've almost done it. Need to get the power back on. Then you can get the factory up and running again. Be careful. Saboteur. One of our own. One of our own, you hear me? I hear you. Okay. Find the saboteur and get the factory up and running again. Okay, so we're gonna find the saboteur. You find the saboteur, wonder what the saboteur is gonna be. We're gonna go right, because right is always right. Didn't matter which way we went. October 13th, 1917. I have ordered our factories to cease the production of ordnance and arms with immediate effect. Robert refuses to comply. He says that to do so would be treason. Obviously that wasn't going to work. Central control element corrupt. Production on hold. Okay, so it looks like we gotta do one, two, three, four, or something with four different things to get this back up and running. B3. So these orange pipes look like they're running to different spots. Might have to follow them. There we go. 
Furnace pressure. Follow the orange pipes to guide the steam from the furnace to where the pressure is needed. The direction of the steam can be changed by rotating the junction valves. Okay. Sabotage. We tried to keep the machines running, but they kept breaking down. We thought the enemy had sabotaged our work, but we could not find the culprit. It is as if the machines themselves refused to continue production. The others have disappeared. We need to fire the furnaces. The factory must continue operation. Signed, Grubert. Okay. Wait. Go where it needs to go? Wait, is that what needs to happen? I really don't... Wait, 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 wait. what's this? Three hundred degrees. Okay. So it needs to be three hundred degrees. So A two goes to the whistle. Okay. Okay, so this one needs to be at 550, so we'll go ahead and do that. Five fifty. B three. Okay. Oh, there's another one, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. So B one, B two. And then there we go. Okay. Here's the third one here. Four fifty. Four fifty, okay. So now we got multiple of these. G one, G two. Okay, so that should have unlocked this door for us. Yes. Cool. Those three. Now I'm wondering if that there's only one more, maybe, because there was four different things we had to do on the main machine. So this one should be the last one. Jeez. Holy crap. I really thought somebody was standing there. Okay, so there's gas back that way. Nope, no, 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 no. 
Okay. So we've got to go back this way. Can I move, please? That'd be great. hundred degrees. There we go. Oop. 600. All right. So there's going to be four. No, just three. So G1, H1. Okay. F1, H2. And then that one there, X. So where is the last one? Probably through here. <coughs> that would be my guess. I have to go through here because it wasn't open before. Okay. Oh wait. Okay, so go back up. So go so go back. Okay, there we go. <laughs> he wouldn't grab a hold of it. I'm just like, nah. Nah, I'm not gonna go back up. You're crazy. Okay. I gotta get back to that main console that we found when we first came in here. But I'm not sure exactly where it's at. Oh, wait. What the hell? Last will and testament. I, Lothar von Schmidt, being of sound body and mind, hereby decree that my grandchildren be afforded every opportunity to become honorable and upstanding officers. They shall both visit the Cadet Academy. For this reason, and no other, I have chosen to finance both my son's house and his trivial business activities. Likewise, for this reason and no other, do I hereby name him my sole heir. Only the golden dagger I received from the Kaiser for my accomplishments in the colonies do I leave to my grandson, Paul. I shall not tolerate any alterations to my room in the salon of my son's house, nor any attempt on the part of his wife or her family to sully my grandsons with their uncultured language nor Catholic superstitions. My son's wife shall bear a German name, Lothar von Schmidt. Berlin, May 8th, 1908. Okay. Still creeps me out. Okay. Let's go. I'm glad we found that. So I'm still under the impression that we're Paul. Um, and our grandfather gave us the golden dagger. Oh, we missed this. Child's drawing. Gas makes you ill. Papa says you should always turn it off all the way. ha <laughs> ha. Is that us? Oh, there's the ladder. I was looking for the ladder. There we go. Okay. Oh, we're right here. Okay, cool. So these are all on, so we can go ahead and crank that soldier boy. A 
Hey, look at that. So what about the saboteur? In this area, your actions will have consequences. Reactivate the factory. Workers. The saboteur has shut down the factory. Must try to get production up and running again. Do this. So oil gas pressure lines need to be set to the maximum level. Once you have enough pressure, I think I've already read that. Uh, the pressure fails. The enemy hands. We must disable production to get this. You need to shut off the gas flow. Then manually activate the diversion mechanism to redirect the pressure outside. Okay. Corruption. You descend like an easterly wind. A promise of home and hero's death. But then you feast, and all life ends. Okay. So, our actions will have consequences, you say. Need to increase the pressure. Under pressure. What is going on here? The machine is inert. Well, thank God. Ah! <sighs> 